this video is going to show you how to draw custom circles using MapLine. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is click here on the shapes map. Okay, and as you can see here on my map, I've already got some pins and I'm going to show you how powerful pins and custom circles can work together. So the first thing I want to do once I'm on the map is click here on the add button and then hover over shapes and select circles. Now this wizard will appear and the first thing we're going to want to do is edit the styling of all the circles that we're going to draw. So we have options for the fill color of the circle, the border color, the opacity of both the fill and the border and the border width of all the circles. And so we have a lot of different options to customize. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a red fill and we'll give it a red border as well. We'll change the opacity down to 50 and keep everything else the same. Then what we're going to do is click OK. All right, so now I'm going to zoom in on a specific area. So I'll zoom in here on the Dallas area. And then to draw my circle, all I do is I click and hold my mouse and drag it out. Now, as you can see here, there's the radius of the circle that I'm drawing. And so I can stretch it out to be something large like 76, or I can make it really small like something like 17 miles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it about 40 miles. So we'll slide it back in a little bit and we'll release the mouse. So once we do that, you can see on the left hand sidebar, the circle is appearing in a circles folder. Now we can continue to do that same process to add multiple circles. But what we're going to do now is when you're done, you'll just click done. And here's where the real power comes in with custom circles and your data. So I drew about a 40 mile radius around Dallas. Now if I want to see all the locations within that area, all I need to do is click here inside the circle with my mouse. And this light box will appear. That's going to show me all the locations that fall within this area. And then if I scroll over here to the right, if I have any type of quantitative data, so I have right here annual sales, I can see that this results in being about $1.7 billion worth of sales within that 40 mile radius. And then obviously, I can group these things so I can group it to see all the different postcodes and it would show me the values for the postcodes as well. So once I click on the circle, this light box will appear that's going to show me all the locations that fall within this circle. So in this case, a 40 mile radius of the Dallas area. And I can see all these and then I can also group them based off of the columns that I've input with the data set. And that's how easy it is to create custom circles using MapLine. And that's how easy it is to add custom circles to your map using MapLine.